Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild and we are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. Uh, in this tutorial video, we're going to be talking about a tool that some of y'all may have used, but uh, if you're new to the game, this is going to be a tool that you probably don't know how to use yet, probably haven't messed with it. It's in an odd spot on the keyboard, so you're, you probably won't notice it until you accidentally hit it. And that is the mirror tool in Space Engineers. Uh, if you're in creative mode, you are going to have this neat little tool called the mirror tool. And the mirror tool, if you are doing a mundane building task, if you are a fan of symmetry, okay? If you are Greek and you are not a Cretan, you are going to love the mirror tool because the mirror tool will allow you to create the most even builds that you've ever seen. It, it's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and a lot of mistakes and it is a very very helpful tool when building ships in creative that you eventually want to blueprint later on so to get started here i am simply going to access the tab and we're going to do a small explanation as to what the build tool is so dropping down a single block the way we are going to do this is I also have to explain the two types of ships that you're going on. Now, there are two types of superstructures within Space Engineers. There is a side-by-side -side superstructure where the central line axis is in between the two blocks. And then there is the centralized spine superstructure, which is your middle point is in between a block. And the mirror tool will do both of these, as you'll see in a minute. So <clears throat> how do you use the mirror tool? Well. You can't utilize the mirror tool if you don't have a block selected. So select a block. That's the first thing you do. And then press M on your keyboard. That is M for meta. So hitting that, you're going to see this linear kind of plate thing in the middle of your block. Now, what is this? This is the mirror tool. And the way the mirror tool works, as I'm about to show you, we simply hit a button here and then to keep going in other words if you want to build you just press M until our square returns so now watch what happens here now the way the mirror tool works is as long as I build on this plane right here where it's on uh, it is not going to build anything else it's not going to do anything because I'm building on that plane but if I go over here and we have this great music when I did that. <laughs> that was totally unplanned right there. <laughs> and the epic music. You can see right there, every time I add a block here, it is doing twice the work. Now, when you saw me working with the mirror tool just a minute ago, you probably saw some crazy stuff there. You saw a whole bunch of other things. So going to M and, and how this thing works is, like I said, whatever is placed on the opposite side here will be reflected over there and you'll be dropping two blocks at a time this can be enhanced if you want to let's just say increase the number of blocks that you want to put down uh, you can do this you can do a lot of different blocks and, and build a whole lot of things you can build things very fast so to give you an idea of how fast we can build uh, I'll show you here in a minute how quick, but we're also going to discuss how this works. So if you want to use it on the central line of a centralized block, in other words, if you want to use one block in your central line, you would use this. If you want to use two different types of blocks, one on either side, you would use the mirror tool on the side here that we have going on. But for us, we're going to put down, and to do this, uh, what you do is when you put this on, you simply left click and you'll see this brighten up. To take these mirror tools off, you simply go back to the plane that you were on. And so let's go over and take red off for a minute. Click that. You'll see it gets darker and the red plane is now gone. So it really doesn't matter how this works. It depends on the direction you want to take your ship. So if I were to go back to M here and go back to this, you can see now we're putting more blocks on you're probably saying badger i've seen this already you did this a minute ago well just just sit back and watch as we build this out here real quick you can see we have a very interesting line that's being built here now what i want to do is i want to build a complex shape and we're going to use some of these blocks down here to build a 
one of the probably one of the most annoying type of blocks to use is probably number four because you need at least three blocks to make a singular line shape. We're going to get around that today by fixing this so that we can get to it. So let's go to three and you're going to watch me build a complex, almost die looking thing. And you can see as I'm doing this, this tool is working on all stations almost. Now there are some planes that I'm having to work on doing this, but for the most part, I am able to do this by doing only one quarter of the work because that's all I'm doing is one quarter of the work. I go to number four here. And for this, we'll just throw these down as well. Just a little shortcut. But you can see right here. As I'm throwing all this on, you are seeing everything just snap into place very quickly. And there. And so we go to M. And check that out. We have just built an entire structure. Now, mind you, I would have had to gone on all sides of this normally and just built it and worked it. And this is the ultimate power of the mirror tool in Space Engineers when you're operating. If, you're, if you have a ship and you're wanting to build it, you just simply get on the central axis and you can make something happen on a vessel. As, as you've seen right there, we can, we can take the mirror tool and we can build all sorts of nifty stuff with it and 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 like i said to say say you want to sit there and you want to build an interesting shape let's say you want to build an engine we're going to say this is our central axis point here we're going to go to m hit our central point and let's go one step further let's just say we want to build a dual engine system on either side of the ship and this is where the mirror tool just really stands out so first off here we're going to grab tanks uh, let's go with sci-fi thrusters and regular large hydrogen thrusters we're going to do this very simple so it's it's easy to keep up with so we're going to go to our thrust. First off, we're going to set in our hydrogen thrusters here. Not, not like that. But yeah, we set all four hydrogen thrusters in one shot. So I go to the other side. I'm going to set in my other hydrogen thrusters. Three, I'm going to go ahead and set our simple hydrogen nacelles. And then number two, we're going to build ion in here one and ion two. And as you can see right here, we've now built uh, an entire nacelle system without all the, the extras involved. You can do this with conveyors. Any block can be done like this. Now, are there limitations to this? Yeah, there are wild limitations here. So... Say I am working on this and I decide to, let's just say I have the mirror tool off and I just, for some stupid reason, cut that out. Now, if I reactivate the mirror tool again, the way I had it, if I go over here, no, 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 just like that. Forgot to have it up. And I start deleting stuff over on this side. And let's say I go ahead and decide I want to put more ion engines on. And I start attempting it. You will notice that it is not working. 
And that's because this has now become a completely separate grid. If the grid is not connected, it will not work over here. So all your stuff will be kind of screwed up. That is, that is one thing you have to worry about when doing this. The second thing you have to worry about, and this is more of an aesthetics thing. If you are working with like batteries are a big problem with this especially the new warfare batteries if you attempt to line the warfare battery up to where you can see it and you set it down you will see that your indicator is going to be now let me turn this off you can now see the indicator is on the opposite side you can also see at the bottom here it's doing the opposite thing on the bottom so you will probably want to install things like batteries if you want them to work properly. And like I said, this is just a simple way of fixing it. You just go in and right click on the mouse, activate your batteries. And then if you want both your batteries to be on the same plane, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to set them up in such a way that they will be on the same plane. So yeah, it, it has some limitations. It's it's not perfect, but it can build some really complex shapes very quickly. Uh, if like I said, if you're building a ship and you you are operating with it and trying to build a ship in such a way to where you want all of your You, you want it to be even on each side. You're not worrying about... You're not trying to be asymmetrical. You're trying to keep everything in the same direction. You can do it. It works with other ways of building as well. So, like, if you want to... Oh, never mind. If you want to take and map out a section of the ship, you can do that. So, let's say you want to make a few rooms on there. This this works on every plane. This is how I build frames for a lot of my ships when I build something. This is how I'll build a frame system up. I'll just double up on that and then just build the frame around. And you can get a hex of you can get like a, a four point frame of what your ship will be and get it within the right parameters. And you don't have to do as much work. Uh, like I said, this would just builds ships and helps you cut the work down to absolute minuscule levels like the way i had it a minute ago i was building a complex geometrical shape with and doing only an eighth of the work that's how effective this is it can cut down your workload to degrees that you're that just make it easier to operate and you can set the planes how you want them to set up so a little bit of planning on your ship and building it uh, it does go a long way, but the mirror tool just helps you get a lot of that extra work. It's it's sort of the concept, if you're building something like a Paris-class frigate or something from Halo, you don't want to build one nacelle, then go over and build the second nacelle. The mirror tool lets you build both of them simultaneously. It's halving your work, and it'll help you build a lot faster. It'll keep your builds very even and very precise, and you won't have to go back and correct a whole lot of mistakes that you've made. You can just, you can get done building and go back and look at it and say, yeah, I got both the nacelles built exactly the same as the other one. There are no details messed up. And nothing sucks more than making a build and not having it 100% the same. <laughs> so anyway, folks, if you guys enjoyed that video, please do hit me up with a like and a subscribe. Stay safe, stay frosty out there, folks. And as always, this is Badger Wild, signing out.